A new clinical trial could be a game changer when it comes to treating heart failure. It involves a device called the V-Wave, and a local man is the first in the Northeast to undergo the procedure at Rochester General Hospital. Heart failure affects more than 5 million Americans. Logan Goldinger from Ovid, Seneca County, is one of them. I had uh, cardiac congestive heart failure. Uh, back in September, um, which led up to me having a bypass, triple bypass in February. After surgery, Goldinger still felt pressure buildup. He enrolled in a clinical trial at the Sands Constellation Heart Institute at RGH. It involves this tiny device called a V-Wave. Conceptually, it's really cool. It's a very elegant uh, design device, um, and it's very easy to implant. Dr. Jeremiah Depta performed the 30-minute procedure on Goldinger. There's an upper chamber of the heart that has a, a piece of tissue that separates the two chambers. And what we do is we take a very small device here, um, and we essentially make a shunt uh, we, between those two chambers. That shunt works as an outlet valve to let out excess blood. The goal is to relieve symptoms like shortness of breath and prevent hospitalization. Once you start going into advanced stages of heart failure, you really start thinking about heart transplants and mechanical heart pumps. But what if there was a simple device that could be implanted in a cath lab that you don't need open heart surgery or you don't need anything dramatic like that? Um, it, again, it could change the game. Researchers hope the device will also increase exercise tolerance, improve quality of life, and even lead to a longer life. Goldinger is thankful to be the first patient in the Northeast to undergo the treatment. I understand it's a research. Everybody's learning from it. And that's one of the reasons why I have no problem doing it because what works with me today may more than help somebody tomorrow. And that trial is just getting underway. Doctors at Rochester Regional Health have five more patients in line to undergo that procedure.